All right, today is uh, <clears throat> Tuesday, March 26, 2013. I was just talking with uh, Johnny Andrews, um, uh, one of the uh, primary contributors to the Perfect Publishing System, um, which if you'd like to buy a copy, davidfavor.com slash PPS. Uh, awesome um, set of details about uh, how to publish Kindle content. One thing that's left out, though, is how to push um, edition changes through the Amazon uh, product ecosystem out to your customers who have bought your book. So here's the way it works, it, and it's freakishly complicated, and I've been wrestling with um, Amazon support now for almost a month, and nobody I talked to gave me this information. I just had to find it here. And uh, the, the reason I found this was that I was talking with Johnny and he said something that made me think about, oh, you know, I read this thing that um, about physical books with Amazon and I wonder if it also applies to Kindle books. And I went searching around, sure enough it does, and here's how it works. Two types of um, uh, general formats of books that you publish in Kindle. One is called volumes, one is editions. Volumes are uh, new content and when you publish a new volume then your customers pay for that again. So if you've got volume one, volume two, volume three then if they like all three of those they buy three books. Now if you have volume one and you'd like to make um, you'd like to fix typos, um, You'd like to add some content, rearrange some content, uh, clarify something that, you know, it's really important to track your Kindle reviews. And if somebody says, hey, I, you know, there's a typo or this is missing or this link is broken, whatever, it's important to immediately respond to that review and say, oh, yes, that will be fixed in, you know, edition, like if you're at edition 1.4, then you say it's going to be fixed in edition 1.5 or 1.6 or 1.9, whatever edition. Now, you would think that, you know, when you go into your uh, KDP backend and upload your um, book, that they say in there that, you know, anytime you need to make a change, here's the process you go through to upload your book, to re-upload it. And the way that I upload my books is I uh, all my books are KF8 compliant, which is the new uh, syntax or the new publishing standard that uh, Amazon has adopted. If you're using Mobi or EPUB or .docs or .docx or .rtf or uh, .pdf, keep in mind that shortly those will disappear. And Amazon will just say, nope, we ain't going to take those anymore. So... Um, my suggestion is you, you know, tool your workflow now to produce KF8 books. Um, and if you have challenges figuring out how to do that, you can, you know, find me, get in touch with me, and talk with me about that. Um, so here's the challenge is the way that um, Amazon makes you think, or what they imply as you're reading through their uh, terms of service is that if you publish a new edition of a book, then customers don't pay for it and they'll somehow be uh, well it appears based on what they say is that if you in the upload facility for the book if you change the edition number um, in other words there's a spot there to say which edition of the book it is and they and you know they imply that if you increment that edition number then that new edition will be made available to people uh, you know, automatically. That's not true. Uh, so if you look here at this page, which is uh, kdp.amazon.com slash self-publishing dash con or slash contact dash us, here's what you have to do is once you have your um, once you have your update published and it's actually um, filtered through Amazon or propagated through Amazon and here's the way you tell that I'm gonna um, whoops I'm gonna bring up my um, davidfavor.com slash uh, BB for beautiful business if I bring up my beautiful business book here you can look and see um, this line right here 
ninth uh, edition. So it says that the ninth edition is published. And so I'm guessing that that means that, that uh, if somebody bought that book then today, then they would see, um, you know, edition nine uh, instead of, you know, edition four or five or six or whatever. And one of the things that I do is if you look here at this, um, let's see if I click on this image here. So, so if you look at this, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, there's the search inside the book. Oh, how about that? So they've changed, so there is no, I mean, on physical books, they have a search underneath, doodad right here. But on Kindle books, if you just click, uh, click to open expanded view, then you can actually see the book. So here's what I do in all my books now, is I, I have the book cover, and I've got a badge up in the top right hand corner that shows the volume which is one and the edition which is nine and then also I put the volume badge inside the book so it's easy to see and I write on the title line beautiful business which is the title of the book volume one dot nine so volume one edition nine so and then I also if you look here at the um, the book description you see there's volume 1.9 so basically what I do is I I sync together the cover, the book description, and the um, the actual content of the book to have a volume edition stamp on it, so I know exactly what my customers are seeing. So if I um, uh, update my Kindle Reader app, I, I in fact you ought to always buy a copy of your own book, and so I've um, I've um, <clears throat> Uh, bought a copy of my book so I can see what people see in their readers and the problem is that I published this book uh, this edition like two weeks ago or something ridiculous and if I go into my Kindle reader here it shows me I have 1.4 that's no good now I've turned in all sorts of bugs and it doesn't matter because they aren't really bugs so if we go back here to the self-publishing link here, kdp.amazon.com slash self-publishing slash contact dash us, and we go down here and we say, um, let's see if we can find it now, uh, publish book maybe? Yep, here we go. Uh, publish your book. And you go here to making corrections. It says, uh, uh, let's see, um, I'm going to say major changes to, um, let's see, um, AISN. So it says to fill in the following information, uh, ASN or name of book. So what, what I'm going to do is actually, let's look at one other link here. Uh, okay, here's how I found this. Um, it says, if you make changes to your book and you want your customers to receive an updated version, we can assist in the process. We'll need you to provide us some information by clicking the contact us at the bottom left hand or right hand corner of the page. So basically what this says is, um, the only way we're going to uh, update your customers is you have to tell us to, which is just stupid. Anyway, um, Let's see, if the changes you made to your content are considered major, we'll send an email to your customers to manage your Kindle page on Amazon. Uh, if the changes to your content are considered minor, we won't notify your customers, but they will enable them to update the book content on your manage your Kindle page on Amazon. So, so uh, let's see. So basically what they're saying here is that even though you're updating your content, like uh, fixing typos or adding content to your book, we're never going to tell anybody about that unless you tell us that we got to tell them. Which is just, anyway, uh, you know, you'd think that these guys at Amazon, I mean, they're making plenty of money that they could, you know, figure this out. Oh, okay, so now we need the AIS end of the book. All right. 
So uh, the AISN of your book is going to get generated and is going to you're going to find it right here AS, AI, ASIN of your book and I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to say AISN this uh, P beautiful So I'm going to say, um, you know, here's the AIS end of the book. And I'm going to also put the title of the book in there. And then I'm going to say down here, since they say fill in the following information, I'm going to put this again. And I'm going to say um, this book has had a major... Um, changes made and in fact I keep a list of all my changes here uh, let's see David Favor uh, let's see this is going to be I think just beautiful business let's see yeah so here's a change log and actually so I keep a change log of all the changes, like here's uh, 1.9, 1.8, 1.7. Um, I think I'm going to take this change log and actually move it into uh, the book itself. But here I'm going to say this has, this book has had major changes made. Lists, lists each editions changes um, David, one, two, three, two, four, three, oh, eight. so um, AISN and the AISN number the name of the book major content changes oh and I better um, say here specifically please notify customer um, Amazon customers who have purchased this book. All right, so um, please notify Amazon customers who have purchased this book. This book has had major changes made. Uh, and there's the link that shows the changes. So if they'd like to figure out what changes have been made, uh, without taking the um, simply you know they might take a look at that and figure you know I've done enough work on listing what the changes are and they do look like they're fairly significant so they might just push that through without uh, going through some sort of review process so now what I'm gonna do is uh, take note of this is um, uh, March 26, 2013 at 12.54 p.m. I'm going to take make note of what, what time and date this is and I'm sending this email and then we're going to see how long it takes them to get back to me about this. So here we go. And um, let's see. Thank you. We respect this response. So what this also means is that probably oh shoot Oh, darn. Well, so probably what that means is that um, if I search for, um, well, I, I've lost the, if I search for the AISN in the subject line of all my email, in other words, if I do a search of all my email from Amazon and list that uh, AISN in the subject line, since that was my subject, AISN number, beautiful business, major content changes, I should easily be able to see that. So what I'll do is um, I'll set a calendar item to go and check um, uh, well tomorrow at like 2 p.m. or something uh, to see if they've actually responded to me. And hopefully they'll respond and say they've updated my book. So anyway, that's the the uh, very cumbersome uh, way that. Um, or process that's required you go through to actually update a book.